get your first game coming up. How do you feel the team has progressed since day one of practice? Um, I think we're finally starting to put a lot of things together. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things that we need to work on, but overall, you know, we're, we're getting better at the little things. Do you feel now with this, that the point you're at that there's a rotation down, you guys kind of know who's going to be playing, who's not going to be playing, or is that still yet to be determined? Um, we've only been through 18 practices, so Buzz really doesn't know, and, you know, a lot of people have a lot more fighting and proving to do to Buzz, so I guess this first game is, you know, to see who's really going to fight, but, I mean, it's also who does it every day in practice, so you got to do it in practice in order to do it in game. You know your role, though. Um, I don't know my role. Uh, I know what my role should be, but, I mean, it's not a defined role yet, so, I mean, sooner or later, I hope to know what it is. Guys okay, sick of practicing against each other? Um, yeah, I have to say so. I mean, when we uh, went out to the scrimmage this past weekend, it was fun to you know, beat up on somebody else. But um, I guess it's, you know, another game, another opponent. Got to go out there and win. What would you learn from that scrimmage? Um, you learn, it's really exposed on what we have to work on. And it's like at a bigger level, so you can really see what everybody's doing wrong. And, um... We, we go into practice, and we do that the whole day. And if we don't live up to Buzz's expectations with that, the next day we're coming back and doing the same thing until we get it right. So what? He was asked what newcomer has really impressed him so far, and he mentioned DJO. Standing there, you a little shocked to not hear him say your name? Oh, no. DJO is very explosive since he's been hurt. And uh, he's coming back, and he's steadily working. See, since he didn't do boot camp, he's like kind of doing the sessions now. And uh, he's really working hard, and uh, when we do our uh, scrimmages and everything, he's really still been his explosive self, even coming off the injury, and he's still uh, maintaining his level of intensity. You got your first taste of an opponent when you were scrimming for Virginia. How did it feel to actually go out and play against another team? Uh, it, felt, it felt good because, you know, it was my first experience actually playing against other college players at that level, and it's a different game. Different, you know, have a different mentality of scoring, and you have to be tougher than I thought you would be. Have to have to be have to have to. So it was just very interesting. What do you think that feeling is like walking out of the tunnel with Bradley Center on you know, Saturday, the first time? It'll be intense. Uh, a lot of emotions. First game, uh, jitters. Just trying to get my head right and make sure I go out there and do my best. What did you get out of the scrimmages? Are you happy? Sad? Disappointed? Frustrated? All of those things. I think it's a great experience. Uh, if we could play a road scrimmage every year, that's what we would do. I don't know that it's fiscally responsible for our institution, but for the experience of those kids and what they get from the road rhythm, all the things that we do, scout report, shoot around, uh, practice at somebody else's gym, and you can scrimmage all day long. I mean, we scrimmaged about 100 minutes, and that's that's – that's uh, priceless to be able to do that against an opponent like Virginia that's as well coached as they are. How is the overall health of this team going? DJ O especially. He's coming. Uh, it's been closely monitored. Uh, with, it, with each passing day, he's allowed two more minutes of athletic movement. And uh, he hasn't had any hiccups along the way. And so he started at... Um, he started at 12 last Wednesday, so he's he's been fine, uh, and he's working every day. Whether or not we practice, he still has responsibilities uh, with Ernest and with Todd. He's and he's been doing a good job. He, he's missed some reps uh, that somewhat uh, mentally probably uh, whack him out a little bit, but he's he's coming around. So he'll see some game action. Yes, 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 for sure. He played he played at he played at Virginia CJ just. It, it was limited, you know. I'm, I'm paying attention to whatever Ernest says. So, there's some guys that always seem to surprise when the lights come on. Was there anybody that kind of surprised that you kind of get? Where, where did that come from? Uh, you know, I think to an extent, Steve. A lot of our guys have a little bit of that in them. Uh, Dwight Bikes has some of that in them. Uh, DJO has some of that in him. J May has some of that in him. Uh, and that's what you want. You know, you want to have a roster full of guys that when the lights come on. They're hooked up and ready to go, and uh, I don't know that there was anybody that surprised me, but they were ready to play somebody else other than themselves. And considering that we have no depth and we're trying to figure out how to play five on five every day, it was good to 
have us all sitting on the bench together, and we were all fighting for one another. And that was our uh, our, our attitude and our uh, what is it called uh, esprit de corps? Is that the word? What is it? Are you it? asking me, Bob? You know what it is. I'm, I'm trying Come to get on, Steve. Gansler. I'm no. trying to get Steve. It's esprit de corps, isn't it? The spirit of your core. There, it was excellent. It was excellent. They had a lot of fun. Last year you took over a team that had four experienced seniors. This year coming into the season, completely different situation. This is a Buzz Williams team. You more excited or a little bit nervous about this season? Both. Both. I don't know if nervous is the right word. Uh, anxious because you don't know what's coming is probably more correct. Really excited, extremely thankful and grateful to be here. Uh, love our kids. A lot of teaching going on every day in practice. Half of them remember what they're supposed to do. Half of them forget. And then the next possession, it's the exact opposite. And uh, so that's good. It makes me a better coach. It makes me more patient as a teacher. It makes me make sure that the words that I use are the words that they can execute. Uh, it'll be really good for my longevity, and it'll be really good for the foundation of this group uh, because we're going to make sure that we teach them the right way. We will be very uh, slow in a lot of ways in November and December because we're not teaching them plays. We're teaching them how to play. And we could run a bunch of plays in November and December and probably win maybe one or two more games than we will. But I think if you teach them how to play over the course of their career, we'll win more games than running plays. And so when you're teaching guys how to play the way that you want to play on both ends, that takes time. And the NCAA only gives us 20 hours. And uh, we used 19 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. <laughs> well, that has to lead into the next question, which is what do you hope outside of not getting any injuries in this game Saturday. What do you want to get out of this game? Uh, I, I, want to, I want to play as many guys as I can play with as many groupings as we can play them together, see how they fit, see how they play together, uh, see who's the, who's the best guy on the ball defensively, uh, see who the best guy is with the ball in their hand at the end of a shot clock. Uh, we've got to use the 40 minutes. Uh, you know, this will be the first time our team has ever been to the Bradley Center. So we're going to get over there real early because we've never been there. Uh, I've been there and our staff has been there, but our players have never been there other than our four returning players. So um, we, we need to get over there. There will be a lot of anxiousness, but I want to see how, how they handle all of that. We're going to wear black tights under our shorts, not white ones. And you say we, <laughs> including you? I think I may wear gray. No, I, I'm wearing black now. I wear gray Saturday. Do you have a starting five in mind yet? No. Um, you know, again, we, we did a lot of different things at Virginia, just trying to play a lot of different guys. Um, and, and I want to try to do the th same thing again on Saturday. Um, the White Bikes had two teeth pulled on Monday, which was our off day. Um, and so he's been out until today. And uh, DJO has been limited. Uh, and, you know, when you take two guys out, uh, when you really only have 11 guys on your team that are healthy enough to play, it makes it somewhat difficult. So I don't know that I've necessarily thought about a starting lineup, uh, but I also don't know that that's really what I have to try to figure out today. I understand that we'll have to put five out there, but there won't be anything read into who I start on Saturday. It'll just be uh, however we can mix up as many guys as we can mix up uh, as often as we can. You know you put a lot of emphasis on defense. Uh, where is this team defensively right now? Getting better, getting better. Um, I think they're beginning to understand what we're trying to do, uh, how we want to guard the post, how we want to guard the ball, how we want to play one pass away, how we want to play two passes away. Uh, we haven't done anything from a full court nature, partly because of our depth. Haven't done anything from a zone nature. You know, this is this is our uh, 19th practice, and I don't know that uh, when you have as many new guys as we have, and you're trying to teach as much as you, we have taught that you can do anything other than try to get one thing accomplished and then go to the next thing. Uh, and I do think we're behind, um, but I think we're behind for the right reasons. We're not behind because we haven't been accountable. Uh, we're behind because there's a lot going on in a lot of our guys' minds every possession.